Hello, Robbie Strike here. Today we're going to look at this Maximus 10X USB camera that you can get over at Thor Broadcast. It is remote controllable, so no, uh, if you are a cameraman and are operating multiple cameras, or you're the producer, um, or you're using this for educational videos, you can control your camera. <laughs> basically, if you don't have a cameraman, you can control your camera and basically just have this thing point zoom in wherever you want. It's great. It has the 10 feet of USB cable. So it has your 12 volt input, a USB 2.0. It has an RS-232 controller. So if you have a controller, you're into the higher pro, pro, pro end of broadcast uh, stuff, you can use this and control it with that in a switcher and all that good stuff. So one thing I really like about this camera is that the bottom has a place to mount a tripod. Most standard tripods, I have about three different cheap tripods and they all fit on this, this, uh, this device. And if you're looking to get a setup for conferencing, you can uh, get, uh, get this uh, omnidirectional microphone and speaker. It has microphones on each side. It, has a, it plugs in via USB. So it's just plug and play on, on my computer. Just plug it in, no drivers to install. It'll just work in any modern computer operating system. Okay, so I just wanted to go over the remote. So you got your power button here. You have a flip button and a PTZ button. And you can select your cameras between one, two, three, and four. You have your backlight setting. You have your menu, which will bring up the menu on the uh, to change all the exposure settings. Got your home button that will recenter the camera so if you have the camera aimed a particular way and you want to go back to your uh, original setting you can do that uh, you got your control for your camera to go up down right left uh, your preset button so the preset says you can program in your presets over here in the num numeric pad and set up the camera so it can be zoomed in focused on and in different areas and it'll remember those settings you got your reset button and you got your fo focus and your your uh, near fire focus your auto focus your manual focus your zoom in and out button and then once again you got your numeric pad the remote takes two trip triple triple a batteries so on the remote you go to your menu setting and you can go through your just hit right on the remote to uh, enter that. You can go through your exposure settings, your color settings, and I have my white balance set to auto. Picture settings, your PTZ settings, and your noise reduction. So this is your system setup, and you can go through your language, your zoom label, and there's the most important setting, the default setting. So if you do mess up your camera, you can always go back to factory default. All right, so I just wanted to show you the um, remote control functions. So I got my LJNs up here on the I'll just adjust this shot here so there you can see the scratches and stuff on my LJNs with Mean Gene and the Ultimate Warrior the Iron Sheik and Rowdy Piper Rowdy Roddy Piper and for doing what I'm doing is having a live stream. Now, the nice thing with this is, as you can see in my my video editing area and then my kids' play area, which is a disaster while I'm editing videos, so uh, I can fix that. <laughs> now you just kind of see my electronics mess here over on my shelf. And is uh move my shot. So I'll try setting the camera up here on my laptop. So if you open up OBS, now I'm running it in Linux, but you can use OBS. It is available on Mac and on Windows formats. And it's a very similar program across, across all formats. So first thing is you'll have this one black screen here, 
What I like to do is first thing is click it onto studio mode so I can have my preview and my program. Program being where it will be going out live or your recording is and where your preview of your sources is. So if you have like multiple video sources here, you can cut to them, uh, multiple cameras or whatever you want to do. So you may want to go here and you might want to add a, go to add a video capture device. So it will see the camera. So here's the camera. It sees it, uh, the USB 2. Now there's two cameras on my laptop here. So you just go through all your settings, adjust the brightness and the things like that. Got an R3 emulated resolution. I'm going to make sure it is at 1080p. I'll leave all these settings at the same. Now to fill the screen, so this area here in the screen, which you're seeing here, if you want to, um, if it's off, uh, sometimes what will happen is you'll have that. Just hit Control F to fill, and that will fill your whole thing uh, there. There's other settings here you can do too. If you're working with a standard definition video or a game or something like that, stretch to screen, Control F, Control S, Control D to center it. You can use this source or put it on top of a source or have other sources on top of this video too. So you can take this video and put it on top of your web browser. So if you want to actually add this video source to multiple sources, you can go and copy, just control C, copy that. You got your camera all ready to go there. I got this other scene here next to it. I want to add, I want to make this scene a, do a screen capture, just capture my screen. And then there's the screen. So that's basically what's going on on my desktop. It's just basically just recording my desktop doing what it does. Woo, 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 isn't that wild? So if I want to add my camera on top of it, I can do that here. I'm controlling the wrong mouse here. Go and paste reference there. Now as you see, see, I'm covering up the desktop, but if I go like this, doo -doo -doo -doo, I can move it around. I kind of want to make it smaller. Can I make it smaller? Yeah, there you go. So just take that. And say if you just want to put like your uh, video for a tutorial or whatever at the side of the screen, you can just do that and then just drag it to whatever size you want right there. And then just cut back to your hard shot. That's how you would set it up. Now there's all sorts of configuration you could do in OBS. There's several tutorials on the internet that will uh, get you so that. You can connect this through OBS, Zoom, any program that would connect a webcam to. It just this is just a more of a high-end professional looking webcam. And also, if your color is off, like you've seen with mine, you can also adjust it here in OBS. You can adjust the camera. You can adjust it here. So I just simply went to my filters section here and did a color correction and just uh, adjusted it according so. And it will work on Facebook Messenger. So I'm just calling my own phone here through Facebook. So what I'll do when I uh, plug these in uh, and run them on OBS, I can use this camera as another camera to switch to. And so if you're interested in picking up one of these, you can pick them up over at Third Broadcast. There'll be a link in the description. So thanks for watching and please uh, like and uh, uh, share. And also if you're watching me for the first time, subscribe and also click on the bell. The bell notification really helps. So thank you for watching this video. Please check out my YouTube channel, Robbie Strike. You can also find me on the internet at RobbieStrike.com. Also, I have several videos about free to air satellite and cord cutting, all sorts of interesting topics that I cover on my channel that are about audio video technologies.